What's up everybody, it's Coach JB with Hoop Study and today we are gonna talk about building a workout. All right, to get us started, let's check out Duncan Robinson. So his last 30 made baskets have come in these different categories. Now, if we look at these categories, you'll notice that coming off of curls and one dribble pull-ups are the majority of his shots. So when you go to build the workout for the athlete, you want to make sure that it is fitting their skill set and it's fitting in the offense that they use. So if we select the first clip, you're going to see that the athlete located here in the middle of the screen is going to come off of a curl and make this shot. There's the curl. There's the shot. If we click on the next clip, we're going to see much of the same thing. The athlete comes off of a curl and gets into a shot. So because this athlete comes off of curls on a regular basis, specifically 23% of the time out of his last 30 made baskets, we can view this as a strength and we can also view this as a place where we can continue to work on because it's used in his team's offense. If you can start to approach training sessions or workouts in a purposeful manner, then you'll get better game results. Another great example is Johnny Juzang from UCLA. You'll notice that in this clip, part of their offense is running him on the baseline using two screens to try to get him open. So this is an action that he wants to work on regularly. You can see that one was a catch and shoot. If we go to another clip, we're going to see much of the same exact thing. They come down, Johnny Juzang starting off in the corner. He runs the baseline coming off of those two screens, and now he gets a mid-range shot. In our third clip, again, we're going to see him run the baseline. And now he's not open, so he's going to come back down for a rescreen and then get himself open. And now we see that he's scoring on a third level. He's going to get into an isolation situation and he's going to drive and score at the basket. So when building a workout, you can work on scoring at all three levels and you're just playing within your team's offense. Now, this doesn't mean that you spend your entire time working out of your team's offense, but this is going to be a great way to get game results from your training session. So to sum it up, build your training sessions with a purposeful plan. Try to include skills that will be expected for you to use in your games and get game shots from game spots at game speeds.